Well, this really blew our minds at the GSL. Well, yeah, I had to look all over to see it because I wanted to badly, but it's small. Yeah, it's just a little 125th scale car. Right, I was thinking something much bigger. <laughs> We first saw the build book and it's like, well, what, 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 where's the, the diorama? Anyway, it's a beautiful diorama of a car we know well. Right. This is the car that won the great race. And uh, it was built by the Thomas Automotive uh, Company and it was one of their models called a flyer. It's a great diorama. And uh, it's interesting because they've chosen to uh, show what the car looked like after it had been abandoned in a New York junkyard. This famous, famous car, the, the 1907 Thomas Flyer, winner of the 1908 New York to Paris race, and the Thomas company was just, well, whatever, and they just uh, sent it to a junkyard. That's sad. That's <laughs> really sad. <laughs> Fortunately, it was uh, rescued and sent to the Southampton Auto Museum and saved. Years later, Bill Hera, the famous car collector from Reno, Nevada, purchased the car, took it back to Reno and restored it, but not to uh, its original factory uh, condition, but to the condition it was in after winning the race, after it uh, rolled into Paris. That was that was really funny in a way. It was it was great. That, yeah. And I, I love the fact that he decided to keep it in that condition. Right. Because it was just a, a garden variety Thomas Flyer. Yeah. And he already had one of those. Sure. So he wanted to make sure it looked like the winner of the race. Like it had been to a race. <laughs> This is the build book, and this is actually what we came across first and went, oh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Because right. we were going through the build book, but we hadn't found the diorama. But um, it's a fabulous reworking of a plastic model because it certainly was never offered in the junkyard condition. It was offered in the condition that it now appears uh, in the Hera collection in Reno. Well, every time I see this car, I think of the Blake Edwards movie, The Great Race. And what a fun movie. You know, it was my brother's favorite movie. Certainly one of my favorite movies of all time. We've probably watched it 50 times. Oh, easy. It's just a hoot. But it's just so funny. And uh, uh, Tony Curtis and Natalie Wood are driving what ostensibly is the Thomas Flyer. They don't call it that. But they have the, the white car, the winning car. And they're up against all of these other cars, but their nemesis <laughs> is Professor Fate ah. and Maximilian, uh, played by uh, Jack Lemon and Peter Falk. Oh, the crew. The crew. <laughs> and they've got this homemade car that's the, uh, the nemesis car, and it's so great, the Hannibal 8. And it's this just fantasy car that they've made up. The reality is that the the... The opposing car, if you will, all the other cars pretty much fell out, but the German car uh, was the, their actual nemesis. In the real race, a whole bunch of cars entered. All of them were custom built except for the Thomas Flyer, which was just a Thomas Motor Car Company's Flyer model. They just rolled one off the showroom and took that. And that's one of the reasons why they won the race. Everybody else had these custom built cars which meant by the time they got to Denver and they didn't have parts, they had to have parts custom made for their custom built car where the Thomas Flyer, they could just buy, uh, uh, they didn't need to buy, they just got parts off the shelf. Right. In an interesting twist, uh, the German car actually made it to Paris three days before the Thomas Flyer, but they were penalized 30 days for transporting their car from Salt Lake City to San Francisco by rail and then shipping the car from San Francisco to Japan on a ship. Good heavens. And so the, the officials said, nah, you can't do that. And they Go pen back and do it again. <laughs> they penalized them 30 days. Anyway, if you know the history of the Hera collection, after Hera's passing, uh, the collection was turned over to the National Automobile Museum, a not-for-profit, and they sold off the largest part of the collection just to raise money to build the museum. And uh, they've kept the, the best of the best, which certainly includes the Thomas Flyer. I was just so happy to see it in person. 
Wow, it's just, yeah, there we are in here its it is. actual presence going, I can't believe it, we're in the presence of greatness here, the actual Thomas Flair. And the restoration, even the mud, mm -hmm. and the, where people had carved initials into it, they documented everything, went back to photographs and figured out just exactly what this car looked like as it crossed the finish line, and that's what they restored it to. They also have a, a factory fresh flyer in the other room. If you want to see what this looked like before when it left New York, <laughs> this is what it looked like when it arrived in Paris. Notice that there's a driver's seatbelt. Isn't that interesting? I think he fell out once or something, it's and that's something. that was the solution. Hold him in. <laughs> now this, oddly enough, is the trophy for winning the race. Goodness. Five feet tall. Yeah. And uh, what did they say, 500 pounds? At least. <laughs> Okay, uh, don't put that trophy on your mantelpiece. Anyway, it's just, it's so great to see this car uh, properly displayed in this museum. Right. It was fun to see this diorama, just to see what this would have looked like when they found it in the junkyard. And it's hard to believe that, yeah. that uh, Thomas Company just sent it to a junkyard. Yeah, it was done, it was over. Yeah, race is done, throw the car away. Anyway, brilliant, brilliant diorama. Thrilling, thrilling to see. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this show. If, uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please click the upcoming subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything. Or if you wanted to help out uh, financially with the channel, you can click on the join button. And for a few dollars a month, you can be part of the, the inner circle. But for absolutely no investment whatsoever, you can click on the upcoming blue button. One right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Sunday. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.